the future of humanoid robots just went from science fiction to factory floor. Introducing Darwin Zero One, a wheeled humanoid with a foldable spine, 28 powerful motors, and a self-charging, self-swapping battery system. It's built to work non-stop, literally. Meanwhile, GoMate rolled up to a metro station, casually switching from four wheels to two to climb stairs and help commuters. And Pepsi? Yeah, they launched their own humanoid brand ambassador. This isn't a concept. This is real. This is rollout. Let's break it all down. Meet Darwin Zero One, built by Standard Robots in Shenzhen. At first glance, it looks like a robot torso on high-tech wheels, like a sleek, intelligent skateboard. But under the hood, this thing is a warehouse workhorse. Its wheels are omnidirectional, letting it zip through narrow aisles at over 2 meters per second, faster than most workers on foot. But it's not just fast, it's versatile. It packs 28 motors in its upper body, giving its arms a crazy range of motion. They bend, twist, fold back, and reach into tight spots. Need to grab a box or a bag? No problem, it swaps tools at the wrist in seconds. Gripper, suction cup, whatever the job needs. Darwin is loaded with tech, sensors, radar, depth cameras, laser scanners, all working in sync to map its environment in real time. That means it avoids obstacles, recognizes objects, and adjusts how it moves, all on its own. But if you need to step in, a remote operator can take over in real time using a VR headset thanks to a super low latency 5G connection. Battery? Covered. It either docks to recharge or uses a drawer-style system to auto-swap batteries. And yes, it's been tested to run 12 straight hours, 8 working, 4 on quality checks, with no breakdowns. What really sets it apart? Compatibility. It plugs right into existing factory systems, MES, WMS, mobile robot networks, you name it. It can even hitch a ride on automated carts. And the foldable torso, that's not just a party trick. It ducks under low-hanging rails and beams, keeps its balance, and still moves at full speed. That's smart design from people who know the factory floor. Next stop, Guangzhou. Meet GoMate from GAC Group. It's a wheeled humanoid that can instantly shift from four wheels to two and walk like a Segway on steroids. In four-wheel mode, it's under five feet tall, perfect for public spaces. But when it hits stairs, it switches to bipedal mode and keeps moving without missing a beat. With 38 degrees of freedom and a solid-state battery, it's not just agile, it's safe, durable, and efficient. The energy savings? Over 80% compared to classic servo-driven robots. GAC isn't keeping it in the lab either. They're deploying it in auto factories for inspection tasks and rolling out pilot programs across industries through 2025. Mass production is coming fast. And here's the big picture. China's auto industry already has the supply chain, batteries, motors, drive systems. So building humanoids, it's a logical next step. Meanwhile, Pepsi's China team rebranded the Agabot A2 into Sapphire, a full-on humanoid in Pepsi livery. This robot is fluent in speech, vision, and gesture. Ask it where the zero sugar cans are, and it'll point you there and crack a dad joke on the way. What makes Sapphire different? Certifications. It's cleared for deployment in China, Europe, and the US. Radio, medical, and safety approvals included. That means it can work legally across nearly every Pepsi supply chain. It's not just for show either. The bot has a customizable knowledge base, so regional managers can upload store layouts, slang, promotions, you name it. The next day, it's ready to guide shoppers like a pro. And yes, Pepsi plans to use it in digital marketing too. Why pay influencers when your robot can wave at phones and trigger WeChat campaigns? Robots are delivering packages, securing metro stations, guiding shoppers, playing football, and they're doing it all now. So here's the real question. If a robot can already do your job, how long before it replaces your job? Let me know what you think. The future isn't coming, it just clocked in. The robots are upgrading, and so should your feed. Like, subscribe. See you in next video.